rubbing her butt right now. I hope that's what it looks like I'm doing. Probably doesn't. Pillow talk! Welcome back to Pillow Talk. For this Monday, uh, some of you people wanted us to talk about... Faking it! The show! The show! Or in the bedroom. It's a new MTV show coming out tomorrow. Um, and it's about two high school girls that are pretending to be lesbians to be popular at school. Quite different from when I was in high school. <laughs> and if you were a lesbian... It wasn't popular. You weren't quite so popular. Yeah. But I was also faking it in high school, but a different kind of faking it, where I was faking it to be straight. And I was still uh, not popular, though. So I don't... Maybe it was just me. <laughs> so one of the controversies of the show is, are they actually gay? Or are they just straight, pretending to be gay? So if you've watched the trailer, at the end, there's a scene where the girls are like, oh, if we were faking it, would we do this? And then they just start, like, eating each other's face. And if you see the one girl, the blonde girl. Her name's Amy. Amy. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, she's clearly way more into it than the other girl is. Totally into it. Either way, I'm gonna watch it no matter what, because lesbians are fake lesbians. I don't care. I just want lesbians on TV, and I'm gonna watch anything with it. On TV, they're all fake lesbians anyways. That's true. So it's just like watching any other show. Except for Zoe Palmer, who's gay. If you've watched the trailer as many times as we have, you'll notice that in one little two-second clip, Amy is wearing a donut shirt. Uh, okay, I don't know about you guys, but pretty sure every lesbian in the world owns a donut shirt. Or likes donuts. It's a pretty big stereotype for lesbians. That we like donuts. Yeah. And bagels, and anything with a hole in it. MTV, why don't you just put her in a shirt that said lesbian? Just rip be it from the pages of Glee. Be a little more obvious. And be, everyone can look forward to that, because she's totally the pretty one. There, I said it. I've already oh picked a side and I have not even watched the show yet. Well, obviously the, the real lesbian's gonna be the prettier one, Sarah. Because I'm sure that's also a stereotype that usually if the girl's hot, she's a lesbian. She's a lesbian. That was the case in my high school. Yeah. I was the pretty one and obviously I ended up being a lesbian. lesbian. You know, we're all about breaking stereotypes, you know? Just because you're pretty doesn't mean you're gay. And just because you're not pretty doesn't mean you're not gay. So also the creators of the show have said that they want to inspire people and not offend people with the show. I mean, I read it as inspiring straight girls to pretend to be gay. Which a lot of straight girls have been doing for thousands of years anyways. Well, this show me. is pretty much every lesbian's nightmare of being with your best friend who's pretending to be gay yeah. and then is... Just, just to be popular. I mean, it happened to everyone in high school. So really, this show is kind of outdated. Thousands of years that we've been in junior high dealing with best friends who Ex are straight. Yeah. Just want to experiment. And pretend to be gay. And then you're secretly, oh yeah, I'm experimenting too. As you cry your tears into your pillow. I wish that if you were gay in high school, you were really fucking popular, because that's how it should be. Yeah. Because I don't mean to brag, but we're kind of better than everyone else. If you meet somebody who's like super talented, or really smart, or super attractive. Dresses amazingly. It, and we're not saying that we're smart, creative, and attractive, you know, but you know. But we be gay. I, I think America needs any kind of help they can get to push that gay people are awesome if you don't think it you're stupid or your your parents are related to each other we were also thinking about doing recaps for each episode and are you watching faking it if you're not watching faking it we are not going to do recaps yeah because what we, is the point what is the point or we'll just do them for ourselves yeah. or that yeah so we're gonna give our predictions on what we think is going to happen. My prediction is Amy is gonna realize that she's gay and that she's in love with Karma, I think is her name. No, it's, really? <laughs> and then her best friend is gonna realize that maybe she's also gay or maybe just gay for Amy. I was gay for someone once and then I became gay for everyone. My prediction is also that Amy will realize that she's a furious lesbian and Karma, that is her name, uh, turns out to be a stripper. We are both predicting that one of them is going to be gay because they have to. if both of them are actually straight, I 
think a lot of people are gonna be pissed off. Yeah, especially lesbians that are watching this show. Cause you know who's just gonna watch this show? Lesbians. lesbians. And maybe some straight guys. So let us know if you're gonna watch the show and let us know if you want to hear us, I don't know, maybe talk about each episode. And you, you know, recaps. just make fun of things cause that's kind of what we do. Be sure to share the video if you're gonna watch Faking It to kind of get your friends hooked because if the trailer doesn't get them hooked, we got everyone hooked to Lost Girl. I know, and that's our fault. So you know how many people have like that's inboxes being like, I didn't start watching Lost Girl until you mentioned it, and now I can't stop watching it. Also, feel free to leave in the description what you want us to talk about next. We're just kind of like your bitch. We're slaves for you. We're the slaves for you. <laughs> I wish I knew the word, the dance moves. <laughs> We're lesbians. We're not gay men. I don't know the choreography of Britney. Thanks for watching another terrible episode of Pillow Talk.